today we have Roland Sandman, Sandy we call you, and we want to introduce the public to your 1957 Ford Fairlane 500, retractable. retractable. Yeah. You want to tell us how you got, how you arrived having this car? How did you get this car? Well, it was a body shop underneath uh, the building over there. I don't remember what it's called. And I found out about grids. Uh, Dave Ostland told me about it. Okay. There's a retractable down there, that 1964. And, uh, oh really, I said. So we went down there and found it. And there was a book on it of $650. I had to lay out $850. Oh, my. I, I know, I know. <laughs> and here it is. You want to tell us a little about, about the retractable, or how many were made, or, and things like that, things of interest to the people? Okay. And it was approximately just a little over 50,000 for three years, 57, 58, and 59. They were produced. Three years. And uh, Ford lost money on every unit they put out. You couldn't just run them through the assembly line. They took so much individual care. Is that a good way to say it? Yes. To assemble them. And uh, it's 175,000 on it. I drove it for years. Rain, shine, snow, whichever it was. Right, Rod? Right. What year did you buy it? Uh, 64. In 1964. Yeah. Okay. Eight, seven years old. And how many motors are in that top? Seven. Seven motors. Seven electrical motors. Was this kind of a forerunner of the uh, of the motors they were using in the in the doors and the windows? No, 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 completely on their own. Case in point, a guy named Ben Smith uh, was the head designer of this, and uh, they wanted motors. They had it drawn up, but were to get them built. And uh, American Bosch, is that what it's called? Yes. He wanted two-inch uh, motors to run this thing, and then one big one for the roof. And he said, man, a big company like you, and you can't build a small motor and they ended up with two and an eighth inch diameter. It's pretty technical, but you'll see it when it goes down. Okay. And ten solenoids sitting opposite each other, and that uh, activates the motor. And then there's ten switches, which uh, just like a starter switch, it goes in and turns on the. Uh, the what I just call it? <laughs> uh, solenoid. Solenoid. Sure. And then that sends current back into the motor, and. There are 600 feet of wiring in there for all that, just for the top. Have you had any problem with it? <laughs> yeah. It, you can't have one unless you buy the problems, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this well, has worked out pretty good, Sandy. We want to thank you for uh, bringing okay. your car in today, and we're anxious to see how everything works. We hope it works. 